Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Maris Kalin, a highly experienced bariatric surgeon with extensive specialized knowledge in the field. My compassion and patient-centered approach has helped numerous individuals achieve their weight loss goals and improve their overall health and well-being. I take pride in staying up to date with the latest advancements in bariatric surgery and utilize state-of-the-art techniques to ensure the best possible outcomes for my patients. With a focus on individualized care and the personalized treatment plans, I am dedicated to helping my patients achieve long-term success and I am committed to supporting them every step of the way. I am passionate about making a positive impact in the life of others and I'm honored to serve as a trusted healthcare provider in the field of bariatric surgery. During the upcoming 45 minutes of this seminar, Dr. Kalin will provide you with essential information about the weight loss surgery journey. He will equip you with the necessary knowledge to make an informed decision before taking this significant step in your life. We understand that weight loss surgery is a life-changing solution, and we want to ensure that you have all the information you need to proceed confidently. Dr. Kalin is dedicated to helping you achieve your health goals and looks forward to guiding you through this journey with compassion and expertise. Obesity is a complex medical condition characterized by an excessive amount of body fat. It's typically quantified by calculating a person's body mass index, BMI, which is determined by dividing a person's weight in kilograms by the square of their height in meters. A BMI of 30 or higher is considered obese. Obesity is strongly linked to progress and civilization. The adoption of sedentary lifestyles, high calorie diets, and other modernization related changes have contributed to the rise of this complex condition. As societies have become more advanced, people have become increasingly reliant on technology and automation, leading to reduced physical activity. Additionally, the availability of cheap, highly processed foods has played a significant role in the development of obesity. Addressing this issue will require changes in social and cultural norms, as well as improved access to healthy foods and opportunities for physical activity. By recognizing the relationship between obesity and progress and civilization, we can take steps to address its underlying causes and improve public health. Obesity can harm a person's health and is a leading cause of many chronic health conditions, including but not limited to heart disease, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and certain types of cancer. It's also a major contributor to the rise in healthcare costs and is a public health issue affecting millions of people worldwide. It's important to understand that obesity is not just a cosmetic issue. It's a serious health condition that requires a comprehensive approach to treatment and management, including lifestyle changes, medical intervention, and, in selected cases, surgery. With the right support and resources, people who are struggling with obesity can achieve their weight loss goals and improve their health and well-being. BMI stands for Body Mass Index, and it's a simple way to determine if someone is at a healthy weight, underweight, overweight, or obese. It's calculated by dividing a person's weight in kilograms by the square of their height in meters. A BMI of 18.5 to 24.9 is considered healthy, between 25 to 29.9 is considered overweight, and 30 or higher is considered obese. BMI is not a perfect measure of health, as it doesn't take into account differences in muscle mass, bone density, and distribution of body fat. However, it's a useful tool for assessing overall weight status and can help guide treatment decisions for people who are struggling with obesity. The mechanisms of obesity involve the complex interplay of genetics, lifestyle, and metabolism. Essentially, when we consume more calories than we burn, our body stores the excess energy as fat. Over time, this excess fat can accumulate and lead to obesity. Obesity can also be influenced by various hormonal and metabolic factors, such as insulin resistance, which can make it difficult for the body to regulate its energy balance and control weight. Additionally, some people may be predisposed to obesity due to genetic factors that affect their metabolism or appetite regulation. Ultimately, 
the mechanisms of obesity, are complex, and, multifaceted, and, they can vary, from, person to person. However, it's important to understand, that obesity, is not just a result of lack of willpower, or, poor lifestyle choices, but, a complex medical condition, that, requires a comprehensive approach, to treatment, and, management. Ghrelin, insulin, and leptin are hormones that play a role in regulating hunger and energy balance in the body. Ghrelin is a hormone that stimulates appetite and promotes weight gain. It's often referred to as the hunger hormone because it signals to the brain that the body needs more food. Insulin is a hormone that regulates glucose levels in the blood. When we consume food, insulin helps move glucose from the blood into our cells, where it's used for energy. In people with insulin resistance, the cells become less responsive to insulin, which can lead to increased insulin levels and weight gain. Leptin is a hormone that regulates energy balance by signaling to the brain that we have enough energy stored in our fat cells. In people with obesity, the brain becomes resistant to the effects of leptin, which can result in overeating and weight gain. Treating the hormonal imbalances associated with obesity typically involves a combination of lifestyle changes and medical intervention. This can include dietary changes, increased physical activity, medication, and in some cases, bariatric surgery. By addressing the underlying hormonal and metabolic factors that contribute to obesity, patients can achieve their weight loss goals and improve their health and well-being. Obesity is a growing epidemic in America, with over 40% of adults now classified as obese. This has led to a rise in obesity-related health problems such as diabetes, heart disease, and high blood pressure which are putting a strain on our healthcare system and affecting the quality of life for millions of Americans. The causes of obesity are complex and multifaceted, but they include factors such as unhealthy diet choices, lack of physical activity, and genetics. It's important that we address this issue head-on and work towards finding solutions that will help people live healthier, more active lives. Obesity is a complex medical condition that is associated with a variety of health problems, including an increased risk of heart attack, ischemic heart disease, brain stroke, both ischemic and hemorrhagic, high blood pressure, high blood lipids, respiratory diseases, cancer, diabetes, gallbladder disease, and arthritis. Let's start with heart attack and ischemic heart disease. When you carry excess weight, your heart has to work harder to pump blood throughout your body. This can lead to high blood pressure and damage to your blood vessels. Over time, this can increase your risk of heart attack and ischemic heart disease, which occurs when the blood vessels that supply your heart with oxygen-rich blood become narrowed or blocked. Next, let's talk about brain stroke. Obesity is a significant risk factor for both ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke. When you carry excess weight, it can increase your blood pressure, which can damage your blood vessels in the brain and increase your risk of stroke. High blood pressure, or hypertension, is also more common in individuals who are obese. This condition can put additional strain on your heart and blood vessels, increasing your risk of heart attack, stroke, and other health problems. Obesity can also lead to high blood lipids, such as cholesterol and triglycerides. This can increase your risk of developing cardiovascular disease, including heart attack and stroke. Respiratory diseases, such as sleep apnea and asthma, are also more common in individuals who are obese. These conditions can make it difficult to breathe and increase your risk of other health problems. Cancer is another significant health risk associated with obesity. Studies have shown that carrying excess weight increases your risk of several types of cancer, including breast, colon, and pancreatic cancer. Obesity is also a significant risk factor for diabetes. When you carry excess weight, it can lead to insulin resistance, which can cause high blood sugar levels and eventually lead to type 2 diabetes. Gallbladder disease and arthritis are also more common in individuals who are obese. Gallbladder disease occurs when your gallbladder becomes inflamed or infected, and it can cause severe abdominal pain. Arthritis is a joint disorder that can cause pain, swelling, and stiffness in your joints, and it can be exacerbated by carrying excess weight. In conclusion, obesity is associated with a variety of health problems, including an increased risk of heart attack, ischemic heart disease, brain stroke, high blood pressure, high blood lipids, respiratory diseases, cancer, diabetes, gallbladder disease, and arthritis. If you are obese, it's important to work with your healthcare provider to develop a plan for weight loss and to manage any health conditions that may arise as a result. Emotionally, obesity can lead to low self-esteem, depression, and social isolation. 
People who are struggling with obesity may feel self-conscious about their appearance and avoid social situations because they feel uncomfortable or embarrassed. The problems associated with obesity can be overwhelming and can affect every aspect of a person's life. It's important that we work together as a team, patient, surgeon, medical team, dietitian, and other healthcare providers to find solutions that will help people overcome their weight challenges and live healthier, happier lives. Preventing obesity can be achieved through a combination of healthy eating habits and regular physical activity. Here are a few tips you can follow. Eat a balanced diet that is rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. Avoid high-calorie, sugary, and fatty foods. Control your portion sizes and don't eat more than you need. Drink plenty of water instead of sugary drinks like soda, juice, or sports drinks. Get at least 30 minutes of physical activity most days of the week. This can include walking, jogging, cycling, or any other activity that gets you moving. Find a form of physical activity that you enjoy, so it's easier to stick with it. Limit the amount of time you spend sitting or watching television. Get enough sleep, as lack of sleep can lead to weight gain. By making these changes and sticking to them, you can prevent obesity and maintain a healthy weight for a lifetime. There are a variety of treatments available for obesity today ranging from lifestyle changes to medical and surgical interventions. Lifestyle changes, such as dietary modifications and increased physical activity, are often the first line of treatment for obesity. These changes can help improve energy balance, boost metabolism, and promote weight loss. For patients who need additional support, there are also a number of medications available that can help with weight loss. These medications work by suppressing appetite, increasing metabolism, or improving insulin sensitivity. In cases where medical and lifestyle interventions are not enough, bariatric surgery may be recommended. Bariatric surgery is a weight loss procedure that physically limits the amount of food the body can consume and or the amount of nutrients that are absorbed. There are several different types of bariatric surgery available, including sleeve gastrectomy, gastric bypass, duodenal switch, and adjustable gastric banding. It's important to note that there is no one-size-fits-all solution for the treatment of obesity. The best approach will depend on the individual patient and their specific needs and goals. However, with the right support and resources, patients can achieve their weight loss goals and improve their health and well-being. Weight loss medications can be an effective tool for helping people who are struggling with obesity achieve their weight loss goals. There are several different types of weight loss medications available, each with its own mechanism of action and potential benefits. One of the most common types of weight loss medications are appetite suppressants. These medications work by reducing hunger and decreasing the desire to eat, making it easier to stick to a low-calorie diet. Some examples of appetite suppressants include phentermine and lorcaserin. Another type of weight loss medication are fat blockers. These medications work by preventing the absorption of dietary fat, which can lead to weight loss over time. One example of a fat blocker is Orlistat. There are also medications that work by increasing metabolism or improving insulin sensitivity, which can promote weight loss. These medications include drugs like bupropion naltrexone and liraglutide. Additionally, newer weight loss medications like Pagovi and Masimba, bupropion naltrexone, and semaglutide, Ozempic, are now available and can be very effective in promoting weight loss and improving overall health. Although, weight loss medications can be a helpful tool for people who are struggling with obesity, it's important to note that weight loss medications are not a magic solution for weight loss. They are most effective when used in combination with lifestyle changes, such as dietary modifications and increased physical activity. Additionally, weight loss medications can have potential side effects and should always be used under the supervision of a healthcare provider to ensure the best and safest outcomes. Our team offers weight loss medication treatment plans for selected patients. Please inquire about this option during the office consultation. Weight loss medications can be an effective tool for helping people who are struggling with obesity achieve their weight loss goals. There are several different types of weight loss medications available, each with its own mechanism of action and potential benefits and drawbacks. Advantages of weight loss medications include They can reduce hunger and cravings, making it easier to stick to a low-calorie diet. They can increase metabolism or improve insulin sensitivity, which can promote weight loss. 
They can lead to significant weight loss in a short period of time, especially when used in combination with lifestyle changes. Disadvantages of weight loss medications include They are not a magic solution for weight loss and must be used in combination with lifestyle changes, such as dietary modifications and increased physical activity. They can have potential side effects, including nausea, headache, constipation, and dry mouth. They can be expensive and may not be covered by insurance. They are only intended for short-term use and are not a cure for obesity. Long-term weight loss success is often dependent on maintaining lifestyle changes, even after discontinuing the medication. It's important to note that weight loss medications should always be used under the supervision of a healthcare provider. The healthcare provider will weigh the potential benefits and drawbacks for each individual patient and determine the most appropriate treatment plan. Nutrition and diet changes are an important component of treating obesity, both before and after bariatric surgery. Before surgery, making changes to your diet and nutrition can help you prepare for the lifestyle changes that will be required after surgery and can also lead to weight loss, which can improve outcomes and make surgery safer. After bariatric surgery, nutrition and diet changes are crucial for ensuring successful and sustainable weight loss. Most bariatric surgery procedures result in a significant reduction in the amount of food that can be consumed, which means that it's important to choose nutrient-dense foods and limit empty calories. This can include increasing your intake of lean protein, vegetables, and whole grains, and reducing your intake of sugar, saturated fat, and processed foods. It's also important to be mindful of portion sizes and to eat slowly, as bariatric surgery can result in a rapid feeling of fullness. Drinking plenty of water and avoiding carbonated and high-sugar beverages is also important, as these can cause discomfort and lead to dehydration. Finally, it's important to work with a registered dietitian who is knowledgeable about bariatric surgery and nutrition to develop a personalized meal plan that meets your nutritional needs and helps you achieve your weight loss goals. In conclusion, making changes to your nutrition and diet is an essential component of treating obesity, both before and after bariatric surgery. Working with a registered dietitian and following a personalized meal plan can help ensure successful and sustainable weight loss. Exercise and lifestyle modification are important components of treating obesity, both before and after bariatric surgery. Before surgery, engaging in regular physical activity and making lifestyle changes can help you prepare for the post-surgery lifestyle changes and can also lead to weight loss, which can improve outcomes and make surgery safer. After bariatric surgery, Regular physical activity and lifestyle modifications are crucial for ensuring successful and sustainable weight loss. Physical activity can increase metabolism, improve insulin sensitivity, and boost self-esteem, all of which can contribute to weight loss. Aiming for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise, such as brisk walking, most days of the week is recommended. In addition to physical activity, Making changes to your lifestyle can also help you achieve and maintain your weight loss goals. This can include managing stress through relaxation techniques, such as yoga or meditation, and getting enough sleep, as sleep deprivation has been linked to weight gain. Finally, it's important to work with a healthcare provider to develop a personalized exercise and lifestyle modification plan that meets your needs and helps you achieve your weight loss goals. In conclusion, Exercise and lifestyle modification are essential components of treating obesity, both before and after bariatric surgery. Working with a healthcare provider to develop a personalized exercise and lifestyle modification plan can help ensure successful and sustainable weight loss. Let's shift our focus to the surgical options available for weight loss. Dr. Kalin specializes in several procedures aimed at addressing obesity, including gastric sleeve, gastric bypass, duodenal switch, SOTI S, gastric band, and bariatric surgery revisions. Each of these interventions has demonstrated efficacy in promoting weight loss. Sleeve gastrectomy is a type of bariatric surgery that helps people with obesity to lose weight by reducing the size of their stomach. The procedure involves removing a portion of the stomach, creating a tube-like structure that restricts the amount of food that can be eaten. This leads to a feeling of fullness after eating a smaller amount of food and therefore, the patient eats less and loses weight. In addition to reducing the amount of food that can be eaten, sleeve gastrectomy also affects the levels of the hormone ghrelin in the body. Ghrelin is often referred to as the hunger hormone because it stimulates the appetite and increases feelings of hunger. After sleeve gastrectomy, the portion of the stomach that produces ghrelin is removed, which leads to a reduction in its production. 
This leads to a decrease in hunger and cravings, making it easier for patients to stick to a healthy eating plan and lose weight. Dr. Kalin successfully and safely performs this procedure using minimally invasive equipment or with the Da Vinci robotic platform, meaning that several small incisions are made instead of one large incision, leading to a faster recovery time and less scarring. The removed portion of the stomach is not replaced, and the remaining stomach is permanently altered. Nowadays, this is one of the most common weight loss procedures. It is quick, causes less malabsorption, and does not alter the small bowel's anatomy, which reduces the risk of internal hernia. However, it is irreversible and may cause heartburn. Additionally, it only restricts food intake and does not address the metabolic pathways that cause obesity. If associated with diet, exercise, and lifestyle modification, sleeve gastrectomy offers a very effective weight loss and improvement of obesity-related conditions. It's important to keep in mind that sleeve gastrectomy is not a magic solution, and patients will still need to make lifestyle changes to be successful. However, for those who have struggled with obesity, the combination of a smaller stomach and reduced hunger can be a powerful tool in the journey toward better health. What is gastric bypass? Gastric bypass surgery involves creating a small stomach pouch and rerouting a portion of the small intestine. This reduces the amount of food that you can eat and limits the absorption of calories and nutrients from food. Dr. Kalin performs this procedure using minimally invasive techniques and Da Vinci robotic platform, which means smaller incisions and a shorter hospital stay. Benefits Gastric bypass surgery can help you achieve significant weight loss and improve obesity-related medical conditions, such as type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, acid reflux and sleep apnea. In addition to weight loss, gastric bypass can also lead to improved quality of life, increased mobility, and reduced risk of premature death. Risks Like any surgical procedure, gastric bypass surgery comes with risks. These include bleeding, infection, blood clots, and reactions to anesthesia. There is also a risk of complications related to the rerouting of the intestines, such as hernias, bowel obstruction, and dumping syndrome, which can cause nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea after eating. Recovery After gastric bypass surgery, you will need to follow a strict diet and exercise regimen to promote weight loss and reduce the risk of complications. Our team will provide guidance on the types of foods you can eat and when you can start to reintroduce solid foods. It is important to avoid overeating and to eat slowly to prevent dumping syndrome. Duodenal switch operation. On the left side, let's talk about the normal anatomy of your digestive system. When you eat food, it passes from your mouth to your stomach through a long tube called the esophagus. In the stomach, food is broken down by acids and enzymes before it moves on to the small intestine. The small intestine is where most of the nutrients from your food are absorbed into your bloodstream. The first part of the small intestine is called the duodenum, and it's where most of the digestion occurs. Now, on the right side, let's talk about the duodenal switch operation. This is a weight loss surgery that involves making changes to your digestive system. During the procedure, your surgeon will remove a large portion of your stomach and reroute your small intestine to bypass most of your duodenum. By doing this, the food you eat will go through a shorter path in your digestive system, which means that your body will absorb fewer calories from the food you eat. This can lead to significant weight loss. It's important to remember that the duodenal switch operation is a major surgery and should only be considered after discussing it with your doctor and a qualified bariatric surgeon. Dr. Kalin routinely performs this procedure through minimally invasive techniques and by using the Da Vinci robotic platform. Let's start with the advantages of the duodenal switch operation. This procedure has been shown to lead to most significant and durable weight loss. It can also improve or resolve obesity-related health conditions such as diabetes, high blood pressure, and sleep apnea. However, there are also some potential disadvantages to consider. The duodenal switch operation is a complex surgery that carries a higher risk of complications compared to other weight loss surgeries. It also requires strict adherence to dietary guidelines and vitamin supplements to avoid nutritional deficiencies. Additionally, some patients may experience digestive side effects such as diarrhea, flatulence, and malodorous bowel movements. Ultimately, the decision to undergo the duodenal switch operation should be made after careful consideration of the potential benefits and risks, as well as consultation with a qualified bariatric surgeon. 
Sadi S is another bariatric procedure that is offered by Dr. Kalin using a minimally invasive robotic approach. Let us compare it with the duodenal switch procedure, as they share several similarities. On the left, we have the duodenal switch procedure. This surgery involves reducing the size of the stomach and rerouting the small intestine to create two separate pathways for food to pass through. The duodenal switch procedure has been shown to lead to significant weight loss. It can also improve or resolve obesity-related health conditions such as diabetes, high blood pressure, and sleep apnea. However, the duodenal switch procedure is a complex surgery that carries a higher risk of complications compared to other weight loss surgeries. Some potential complications include malabsorption of nutrients, vitamin deficiencies, and digestive side effects such as diarrhea, flatulence, and malodorous bowel movements. On the right, we have the SADIS procedure, which stands for single anastomosis duodeno-ileal bypass with sleeve gastrectomy. This procedure involves removing a portion of the stomach and rerouting the small intestine to create a single pathway for food to pass through. The SADIS procedure has also been shown to lead to significant weight loss. It can also improve or resolve obesity-related health conditions such as diabetes, high blood pressure, and sleep apnea. Compared to the duodenal switch, the SADIS procedure is less complex and carries a lower risk of complications. However, some potential complications include malabsorption of nutrients and vitamin deficiencies. So, when comparing the two procedures, it's important to consider the individual patient's medical history and specific weight loss goals. While the duodenal switch may be more effective for some patients, it also carries a higher risk of complications. On the other hand, the SADIS procedure may be a better option for patients who want a less complex surgery with a lower risk of complications, but it may not be as effective for extreme weight loss goals. Ultimately, the decision to undergo either procedure should be made after careful consideration and consultation with a qualified bariatric surgeon. If you have previously undergone bariatric surgery and have experienced weight regain, it may be advisable to consult with your doctor regarding alternative surgical options. Dr. Kalin, a qualified surgeon in this field, provides several surgical revision options for patients who have undergone bariatric surgery. Revision of Sleeve Gastrectomy to Gastric Bypass Initially, the sleeve is transected to create a small gastric reservoir while leaving the rest of the sleeve closed. In the next step, a loop of intestine is brought up and connected to the newly created small stomach pouch in the shape of an omega. The omega loop is then transected, and the intestine is rerouted and reconnected downstream. This results in a final arrangement with a small gastric pouch that limits the amount of food that can be eaten. The connection of this pouch with the rest of the intestines is called the roux limb. The other part of the stomach is connected to the same intestine by the biliopancreatic limb, which transports bile and pancreatic juices. The food and digestive secretions are mixed together in the last part of the intestine, known as the common channel. Dr. Kalin performs this procedure through minimally invasive robotic approach. Let's compare sleeve gastrectomy and gastric bypass. On the right side of the screen, we have the gastric bypass. This procedure involves creating a small stomach pouch and rerouting the small intestine to connect to it. The bypass surgery is known for its effectiveness in reducing acid reflux symptoms. On the left side, we have the sleeve gastrectomy. This procedure involves removing a portion of the stomach and creating a smaller, sleeve-shaped stomach. One advantage of this procedure is that it preserves the pylorus, which helps regulate the flow of food into the small intestine. Unlike the gastric bypass, in which the food moves too quickly through the stomach and small intestine and can cause some patients to experience dumping syndrome, the food flows in a normal manner through the small intestine in the sleeve gastrectomy. Overall, both procedures have their advantages and disadvantages, but for those suffering from acid reflux, the gastric bypass may be the better option. Indications for converting a sleeve gastrectomy to a single anastomosis duodeno-ileal bypass with sleeve gastrectomy, SADIS, in a patient with obesity, may include inadequate weight loss, weight regain, and or persistent comorbidities such as type 2 diabetes mellitus or metabolic syndrome. Additionally, patients with GERD or Barrett's esophagus may benefit from conversion to SADIS, as it may reduce acid reflux and improve symptoms. SADIS may also be considered for patients who have undergone a previous weight loss surgery and require revision surgery. However, it is important to note that conversion to SADIS is a major surgical procedure and should only be considered after careful evaluation and discussion between the patient and their health care provider.
Potential risks and benefits should be thoroughly assessed and discussed with the patient prior to making a decision. Dr. Kalin performs this procedure through minimally invasive robotic approach. When a patient undergoes gastric bypass surgery, a small pouch is created in the stomach to restrict food intake and promote weight loss. However, in some cases, this pouch may dilate over time, reducing its effectiveness in limiting food intake and leading to weight regain, as it can be seen on the left side of this screen. In order to address this issue, a surgical procedure known as pouch reduction can be performed. During this procedure, the surgeon removes a portion of the dilated pouch and creates a new, smaller pouch, as it can be seen on the right side of the screen. This new pouch is designed to limit the amount of food the patient can eat at one time, leading to weight loss. By reducing the size of the pouch and creating a new, smaller pouch, the patient is better able to adhere to a restricted diet and achieve long-term weight loss success. As with any surgical intervention, careful evaluation and discussion between the patient and their healthcare provider is necessary to determine if pouch reduction is the most appropriate course of action for the patient's specific needs and circumstances. This procedure can be performed either as a standalone intervention or in combination with gastric bypass distalization, depending on the patient's specific needs and circumstances. Dr. Kalin performs this procedure through minimally invasive robotic approach. Indications for performing a distalization of a bypass surgery in a patient who has regained weight after a RUNY gastric bypass procedure and has a short bypassed intestine may include inadequate weight loss or weight regain, persistent comorbidities such as type 2 diabetes mellitus and or metabolic syndrome. Distalization of a bypass surgery involves lengthening the bypassed segment of the small intestine to increase the absorption of nutrients and calories, leading to improved weight loss and management of comorbidities. However, this is a complex procedure that requires significant surgical skill and expertise, and carries potential risks and complications, such as anastomotic leak or obstruction. As with any surgical intervention, Careful evaluation and discussion between the patient and their healthcare provider is necessary to determine if distalization of a bypass surgery is the most appropriate course of action for the patient's specific needs and circumstances. This procedure can be performed either as a standalone intervention or in combination with gastric bypass pouch reduction, depending on the patient's specific needs and circumstances. Dr. Kalin performs this procedure through minimally invasive robotic approach. Dr. Kalin takes advantage of robotic surgery as a form of minimally invasive surgery. Robotic surgery utilizes advanced technology to enhance the precision and control of surgical instruments. In bariatric surgery, robotic technology can be advantageous for several reasons. First, the robotic system provides a three-dimensional, high-definition view of the surgical field, which allows the surgeon to see more clearly and make more precise movements. This can be especially important in bariatric surgery where the surgeon is working in a limited space and needs to be able to accurately manipulate delicate tissue. Second, the robotic instruments are designed to mimic the movement of the human hand, allowing the surgeon to perform complex procedures with greater ease and control. This can result in less trauma to the patient's tissues and a faster recovery time. Finally, the robotic system can be programmed to perform certain tasks automatically, which can reduce the risk of human error and improve the overall safety of the procedure. Overall, Robotic surgery can offer several advantages over traditional surgery in bariatric procedures, including greater precision, less trauma to the patient, and improved safety. However, it's important to discuss the risks and benefits of any surgical procedure with your healthcare provider to determine the best course of treatment for your individual needs. So, how do you know if you're a candidate for bariatric surgery? To be considered for bariatric surgery, you'll need to meet certain criteria. This includes, having a BMI of 40 or more, or a BMI of 35 or more, with one or more obesity-related health problems. Being over 18 years of age. Trying to lose weight through diet and exercise without success. Being physically and mentally prepared for the changes that come with bariatric surgery. Once we've determined that you're a candidate for bariatric surgery, what happens next? The bariatric surgery process typically consists of several steps, including Initial consultation. During the initial consultation, You'll meet with a bariatric surgeon who will discuss the different types of bariatric surgery with you and help you determine which one is the best fit for your needs. Dietitian Consultation Psychological Evaluation 
You'll also have a psychological evaluation to ensure that you're emotionally and mentally ready for the changes that come with bariatric surgery. Gastroenterology, Stomach Doctor, Consultation with Endoscopy Medical or Cardiology Evaluation Other consultations may be necessary depending on your medical problems. Our team will help you navigate through all these steps and will keep you informed and update you about each phase of the process. Our insurance coordinator will assist you in obtaining the necessary authorization for your surgery by making all the arrangements. Preoperative preparation. Surgery. Postoperative care. Following your hospital discharge, it will be necessary for you to schedule a series of follow-up appointments in our office. These appointments are scheduled at one week, one month, three months, six months, nine months, and one year after your initial discharge. Subsequently, we recommend annual follow-up appointments, or sooner if you experience any issues that require medical attention. The dietitian will maintain regular contact with you to ensure that your diet is being appropriately advanced and that you are properly adhering to your vitamin and diet regimen. Once you've had your bariatric surgery, what can you expect in terms of life after the procedure? While bariatric surgery is a tool to help you lose weight, it's important to remember that it's not a cure-all solution. To get the most out of your bariatric surgery, you'll need to make permanent lifestyle changes, including adopting a healthy diet, getting regular exercise, taking vitamins and minerals as recommended by your doctor, attending regular follow-up appointments with your bariatric surgeon. Bariatric surgery, like any surgical procedure, carries potential risks and complications. Some of the most common complications of bariatric surgery include but are not limited to Nutritional deficiencies, bariatric surgery can result in nutrient deficiencies, particularly in vitamins and minerals, due to changes in the digestive system. This can be managed through regular monitoring and supplementation. Dumping syndrome, this is a condition where food moves too quickly through the small intestine, causing nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. Bowel obstruction, scar tissue from surgery can sometimes cause blockages in the intestines. Blood clots, blood clots can occur after any surgery, including bariatric surgery, and can be life-threatening. Infection, as with any surgery, there is a risk of infection. Hernias, hernias can occur at the incision site or where the stomach is stapled, requiring additional surgery to repair. Anastomotic leak, an anastomotic leak is a potential complication that can occur after surgery, particularly after gastrointestinal procedures. It refers to the leakage of fluid or contents from the site where two segments of the intestine or other organs have been surgically joined, anastomosis. This can lead to inflammation, infection, and even sepsis, which can be a life-threatening condition if left untreated. Symptoms of an anastomotic leak may include abdominal pain, fever, nausea, vomiting, and increased heart rate. If you experience any of these symptoms after surgery, it is important to contact your healthcare provider immediately. Early detection and treatment of an anastomotic leak are crucial for a successful recovery. Long-term weight regain. Some patients may experience long-term weight regain if they do not adhere to the recommended lifestyle changes, such as regular physical activity and healthy eating habits. In conclusion, while bariatric surgery can provide many benefits for patients with severe obesity, it is important to be aware of the potential risks and complications. Patients should discuss these risks and the steps they can take to minimize them with their healthcare provider before deciding if bariatric surgery is right for them. Bariatric surgery can significantly improve several diseases in patients with severe obesity. This is because obesity is often associated with a number of medical conditions, including type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, sleep apnea, and heart disease. By promoting weight loss and improving metabolic function, bariatric surgery can help improve or resolve these conditions. For example, bariatric surgery has been shown to result in the remission of type 2 diabetes in many patients. This is because the surgery can improve insulin sensitivity and reduce glucose levels in the blood. Similarly, bariatric surgery can help lower blood pressure and improve sleep apnea by reducing weight and fat in the neck and chest area. In addition to improving these conditions, bariatric surgery can also increase lifespan in patients with severe obesity. This is because severe obesity is associated with an increased risk of death from a number of conditions, including heart disease, stroke, and certain types of cancer. 
By promoting weight loss and improving health, bariatric surgery can help reduce these risks and increase lifespan. It's important to note, however, that bariatric surgery is not a cure-all and that patients need to adopt a healthy lifestyle, including regular physical activity and healthy eating habits, to achieve and maintain the benefits of surgery. In conclusion, bariatric surgery can significantly improve several diseases and increase lifespan in patients with severe obesity. By promoting weight loss and improving health, bariatric surgery can help reduce the risks associated with severe obesity and improve quality of life. Obesity is a complex condition that affects millions of people worldwide. It's often accompanied by a range of health problems, including diabetes, heart disease, and stroke, making it a significant public health concern. If you're struggling with obesity, it's essential to know that you're not alone. Many people face similar challenges, and there's no need to feel ashamed or embarrassed about seeking help. Fortunately, many resources and support systems are available to help you succeed in your weight loss journey. Our team is here to help you achieve your goals and improve your health. We understand that losing weight can be a challenging process, and it requires a personalized approach that takes into account your unique needs and circumstances. We provide comprehensive support, including nutritional counseling, exercise guidance, and emotional support, to help you make lasting changes in your lifestyle. We believe that a healthy lifestyle is achievable for everyone, and we're committed to working with you every step of the way. With the right guidance and support, you can overcome the challenges of obesity and improve your health and well-being. So, if you're struggling with obesity, don't hesitate to reach out. We're here to help you succeed. My dear current and potential future patients, I'm Dr. Colleen, and I wanted to take a moment to share with you some inspiring before and after pictures of some of my successful bariatric patients. These images showcase the incredible transformation that can be achieved through bariatric surgery, and I'm so proud of the hard work and dedication that these patients put into achieving their weight loss goals. I want to emphasize how grateful I am for these patients who are motivated and compliant throughout their weight loss journey. It takes a lot of courage and discipline to make the lifestyle changes necessary for long-term success after bariatric surgery, and these patients truly embody what it means to be committed to one's health. I also want to acknowledge the incredible support of our team, from the nurses and nutritionists through the administrative staff, everyone has played a crucial role in helping our patients achieve their goals. To all our bariatric patients, I want you to know that we are here to support you every step of the way. If you are considering bariatric surgery or are in the process of your weight loss journey, remember that you are not alone. Together, we can achieve amazing things. Thank you. The information provided in this bariatric seminar is intended to be educational and informative. However, it is important to note that medical knowledge is constantly evolving and changing. Therefore, while we strive to provide up-to-date and accurate information, we cannot guarantee the accuracy or completeness of the information presented. Patients are encouraged to discuss any information obtained from this seminar with their own healthcare providers to determine the most appropriate course of treatment for their individual medical needs. The information presented in this seminar should not be used as a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Please feel free to contact Dr. Kalin and his staff if you are considering moving to the next step and wish to become more involved in the bariatric surgery program. They will be more than happy to provide you with further information and answer any questions you may have. Thank you.